Hey guys, today we're going to be going over how my interior and exterior are holding up after over 15,000 miles in my Tesla Model 3, so if you're interested, stay tuned! So just a little background on my particular car, I bought it back in December of 2018 and my commute to work is really, really short. It's only eight miles each way. And then, so there's not that much driving there. And then also with the pandemic going on, it hasn't really been driven that much at all. So it's kind of just been sitting around, but I figured I'd go over how it's been holding up after 15,000 plus miles because the mileage really is what matters, not the time. Also a heads up, I am fortunate to have a garage. So it's the car has been garage 100% of the time. So it doesn't have to deal with any of the hot and the cold and not getting baked in the sun all day, you know, being parked outside. So I'm going to start with the interior first. And just a heads up with the interior, I do use a product called Tough Stuff. It's pretty basic. You can get it at Home Depot or Amazon or whatever. I'll leave a link if you're interested in that. But it's just a, you know, all all purpose interior cleaner to clean the seats and, you know, clean the uh, dash and things like that. So that's what I use. So as you can see, the front seats pretty much look perfect. There's no scratches or anything like that. The only thing that is there is there is a crease on the left side of my driver, you know, driver's side seat, and that's obviously because you have to scoot in and out of the car. So that's pretty much inevitable. Same thing on the passenger side as well. There's a crease on the right side to get in and out of the car. The back seat is the same thing. So it's just me and my wife right now. So basically it's pretty much the front seats that are used. We do have two dogs. So they are in a hammock in the back. That we put them in, so I try and protect the leather, the pleather leather, uh, by putting them in the hammock. But we do have passengers in the back every once in a while. And as you can see, the, the back is still brand new, is brand new looking as well. The door panel looks brand new as well. So this is kind of like a recurring theme, theme after 15 and a half thousand miles. So if you look at the armrest portion, it's brand new. I don't really use it that much. I don't dig my elbow into it. So that could be part of why it still looks brand new. Um, but like I said, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. Also, the top plastic panel was totally fine. Uh, I just use the tough stuff like I mentioned every once in a while to clean that off because you will get like skin cells and like, you know, your, your skin ash on there every once in a while. So got to clean that off. So that's why I use the tough stuff to keep that clean. The center console slash armrest area is also really good looking. I do put my elbow on this, the center console, like armrest piece quite a bit when I'm driving. And so as you can see, it's totally brand new looking still. And again, again, this is where I use the tough stuff as well to keep it clean and kind of keep that leather moist. Um, also in the center console area, I do have a brushed metal uh, wrap from EV Armor. So if you're interested in that, I'll link you to that in the description. But yeah, nobody likes that piano shine. So I, I wrapped it a long time ago and that is still fine as well. The dash is totally fine as well. Again, having the car garage 100% of the time I think really helps with this. If you didn't have a garage, it would be baking out in the sun unless you have like a sun a sun visor for your windshield, um, but obviously it still looks really good as well. Again, tough stuff for that to keep it moist. And then also the, the wood trim is also gone, as you can see, because I have that wrapped. That's a test pros wrap. I can link you to that as well. I actually have a tutorial on that as well. So if you want to look at, you know, put, putting that in, you can. Um, but that, that whole front portion is totally fine as well. The steering wheel looks brand new as well. Uh, I try and take good care of the steering wheel though, so I'm not really rough with it. So if you look around the edges, it looks, it looks fine. It's totally new. No wear and tear on, on that portion of the steering wheel. And again, I try and take good care of that. And also because it's garage, it doesn't get baked in the sun as well. So kind of a couple of things you got to think about when you're actually driving around. Um, I try and I really try and take care of the steering wheel because I don't want it to look all messed up and worn out after a while because just ugh, ugly. The floor mats are fine as well. I do like that they're black, so that way they match with the rest of the black interior. Uh, there's no cracking or anything like that. You probably might see that later down the line once once the car gets older. But at, at this point, at the you know formats are totally fine as well, and there's not really any wear and tear on them after a couple of years of driving. So I think we covered all the major points of the interior. So now we're going to go to the exterior. I don't have ceramic or PPF on the car and I actually made another video specifically on that topic. So if you're interested in that video, I will link you in the cards here. I also have a video on how I take care of the exterior of the car. So basically I use a pressure washer and foam cannon. I did make another video specifically on that. So I will link you in the cards here about to that. And obviously that's going to impact how your ex exterior is doing after however many years, miles, whatever. So it's pretty relevant to this video. 
So as you may or may not know, Tesla is not known for having that great of a paint. If you look anywhere online, Reddit, any Tesla forums, you will see plenty of people complaining about how crappy their paint is. So just a heads up when we go into this exterior portion of the video. With that said, my particular car has been doing great. I think having a garage is going to play a big impact on that. And so there's no peeling, no clear coat coming off or anything like that. The paint basically looks brand new like the day I bought the car. One thing I do like about the exterior is the all glass roof, the panoramic roof, because that's less paint, which means there's less area for the car to have clear coat issues and peeling issues. And so if you park your car outside, that's kind of a good thing for you because the roof area is oftentimes a lot of times where the sun hits the car the hardest. And so that's where the, you know, clear coat starts to peel and the paint starts to get mess messed up first. So it's nice that that's not there. So if you park the car outside, you have less of a chance of the paint getting damaged or a less, you know, area of the paint getting damaged. The front bumper is probably the worst area. There are some rock chips on there, as you can see. Um, obviously, this is going to be normal wear and tear when you drive your car around. As I mentioned, I don't have PPF. So, you know, if you want to go to that video, you can look and see why. But that's maybe, maybe that's my, you know, if I had PPF, it would protect the front a little bit more. But it's normal wear and tear. I don't really care about it that much. And there are a couple of pink uh, rock chips after 15,500 miles. The windshield is totally fine. I don't have any major rock chips. You know, cross your fingers, I don't, I don't get one. But that's going to be a normal wear and tear, you know, item as well. And this, you know, any car, if a big rock hits the windshield, it's going to crack. So just lucky for me, I haven't had that yet. And so hopefully that doesn't happen. Rims and tires are totally fine right now. Tires have normal wear and tear on them for 15 and a half thousand miles. I rotate them every 10,000 miles to, you know, to make them last as long as possible. There's still a ton of tread on the tires, so I'm not worried about those for a while. Uh, the rims are totally fine as well. They're not all weird or, you know, have bends in them or anything like that. I obviously try and stay away from potholes. Um, I don't expect anything weird to happen with the rims. Those should last uh, the lifetime of the car, just like any other car. The headlights look totally fine as well. There's no yellowing or fogging, and that's probably because the car is only, you know, two years old, almost two years old, 15,500 miles. But I hope that won't happen in the future. Um, again, because the car is garage, it probably won't. If the car was parked outside 100% of the time, maybe by now you might have noticed it. Hopefully not. But down the line, if the car was parked outside, that's probably going to happen because the headlights are plastic. Um, you know, most cars these days have plastic headlights because glass kind of, you know, if a rock hits it, it's going to crack. So a lot of car manufacturers use plastic. And so that's why it yellows. So I know I haven't driven the car for a ton of miles, but I thought I'd give you an idea of how the car is holding up after 15 and a half thousand miles. Did any one or multiple areas I went over surprise you? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.